the lighting in your design with confidence, Exposure Lighting Analysis Technology has been validated by the National Research Council, NRC, Canada's leading organization for scientific research, the same organization that validated Radeon's simulation. In this scene provided by BNIM Architects, we will analyze the natural light intensity of the council chamber. This model was created in Revit architecture and imported as a FBX file in 3ds Max design. This analysis is run at an early stage in the design where there is still modification made to the structure and the light analysis result will impact the overall design. Adjustment of window size and location, roof configuration and addition of shutters will be modified according to the result of light analysis and reach of optimal natural light level. The first thing we want to adjust in our scene is the sun and sky system. For this example, I will use an APW file in combination with the Perez all-weather sky model. I can easily load my EPW file by choosing the weather data file option under the position tab. By clicking the setup button, I will be able to load my EPW file. Adjusting the time of day to a specific time or run an animation. In this case, I have animated my son on June 21st from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. By matching my timeline, I will see the sun animated in my scene. With the hardware shading on, along with enable shadow and exposure control, I can have a visual reference of my sun and shadow moving during the course of the day. Already, with the real-time shadow analysis, I can see how my building is being impacted by the sun and sky. Now, my analysis will be inside the building and I have placed a camera in the console chamber. I will need to do a test rendering to make sure the indoor room exposure is adjusted properly. Same way I would do if I want to take a picture inside of this room, I would have to adjust my camera aperture and shutter speed. So under the exposure control, I can choose the indoor daylight preset as a start. I'm going to render a preview to see if the brightness of my scene is correct. The preview window will give you a small render and will use the rendering parameter that you have in your scene. The most important parameter for accurate daylight simulation are the image precision, final gather precision and final gather bounces. For the interior rendering, a final gather bounces of 3 to 7 is recommended. The final gather precision will reduce the noise within an image, but will increase rendering time. For this example, I will set it to draft and increase the rays per FG point to 500 and hit render preview. It calculate my image and give me a small preview of the results. I can from here adjust my exposure to a brighter or darker rendering depending on my need. Once I am done with the adjustment, I can render a full-size image and will have the same result. With the help of Light Analysis Assistant, I can inspect my scene to make sure it is ready for light analysis. While navigating to the different tab, Light Analysis Assistant will let me know if I have invalid settings or not. In the event of an invalid setting, an indication at the bottom of the window will notify me. For example, if I turn the rendering frame buffer to 16-bit, I would right away see in bold letter the error and the solution proposed to fix it. At the bottom of my window, I would also see one invalid setting. I just need to adjust to the recommended value and update the status. I also have the choice to do my analysis with LUX or foot candle. I can easily change my lighting unit accordingly by going to the main menu, Customize Unit Setup. Going to the Lighting tab, I will find information on my sun and sky. I can see here the sun is using the EPW file and the Perez all-weather sky model. No invalid setting here, so I can go to the next tab, Materials. For valid result, I am only allowed to use physically based mental ray architecture and design material or pro material. The way that I have set my scene at the moment is by using the average engineering reflectance material. With the architectural and design material, I have set the option to a flat and adjust the reflectance level to 50 for all walls, 20% for floors 
and 80% for ceilings. Under the Analysis Output tab, I can create my light meter. I will use the Auto Grid option and draw my light meter directly on the floor. I am raising the light meter to about 30 inches off the floor and can adjust the number of segs. Light level will be reported at each intersection, so the more intersection, the more light level result I will get. Then, hit the Calculate All Light Meter button to get the result. To change the color range of the pseudo color display of the light meter, I can use the help of Lighting Analysis Assistant under the General tab and adjust the minimum and maximum range value. I can also display the level in a linear or logarithmic way. I can also choose to export the light calculation to a CSV file and do further analysis. If I open the CSV file in Microsoft Excel, I can see the result of my light meter here. Each answer section or SEGS have its location, time of the day, direct, indirect, and total amount of locks. I can also find the exact coordinate of this enter section in my scene. For presentation purpose, it is useful to overlay light level on top of a render image. To do this, go to the top menu, Light Analysis, Create, Image Overlay. This will open the effect window where you will be able to adjust different options for your image overlay. You can choose to do so interactively. By clicking the interactive option, it will go to your render, render the pretty picture, and overlay your light level on top. The yellow window is only there for temporary data buffer and you can disregard it. Because you are on the interactive mode, you will be able to change the different options available to you such as show numbers on entire image, show numbers from light metering helper object, show camera name, fade background and so on. You can choose to save this render to disk and use it in your visual presentation. Light analysis will help you explore your design in more depth, achieve more sustainable design by analysis of sun, sky and artificial lighting accurately predicting how light will interact with your design. I strongly encourage you to visit our website under 3ds Max Design and download the white paper on light analysis. This white paper will guide you to step by step how to set your scene appropriately to reach accuracy with your light analysis. You will also be able to download the light analysis advanced concept to have a more in-depth understanding of this tool.